The Lord be with you. Okay, I lied. I'm adding something. And it has to do with philosophy and, and words that people use. Because, uh, you know, as I taught the Lord's Supper and, and thought about the Lord's Supper an awful lot over my 22 years of being a pastor, 23 years of being a pastor, uh, you know, there are certain words that I find utterly and completely confusing. So the Catholics have this doctrine called transubstantiation, which is a philosophical explanation of how the bread could be Jesus's body and the wine his blood. And rather than just believe it, they had to figure it out because they were philosophers, you know, and Aristotle. And I just don't do philosophy. And then some people say, well, Lutherans don't believe in transubstantiation, which is that the bread becomes his body and the wine becomes his blood. No, it just is. Jesus says, this is my body. He doesn't say it becomes my body. He says, it is my body. This is my blood. And so we just go, yeah, the bread is his body. The wine is his blood. And so some people say, oh, you believe in consubstantiation. Go, no, no. I don't know what consubstantiation means. I do know what this is my body, this is my blood means. It doesn't mean that his, his, the bread is with his body or the body is with his, the bread. That makes no sense to me. You may have grown up with the words in, with, and under, that Jesus's body and blood are in, with, and under the bread and the wine. I don't know what that means. I do know that in, with, and under are philosophical terms, and they are mighty confusing because it's philosophy, and philosophy is utterly confusing. It's baffling. What does it mean that Jesus's body is in the bread? What does it mean that Jesus's body is with the bread? What does it mean that Jesus's body is under the bread? That makes no sense. Whereas when he says, hey, this bread is my body, I go, oh, okay, I can believe that. It, it doesn't really make sense, uh, but I believe it because Jesus said it. And then the other term that, that's used that I find utterly confusing is the term real presence. You know, it's like, do you believe that Jesus is, is really present in the Lord's Supper? And I just go, what does that mean? What does that mean that he's really present? Jesus is, you know... If you believe that Jesus is God and that God is everywhere, then Jesus is everywhere. I, and, and so what do you mean by him being really present, a fakely present? I, I don't know. So I, I don't teach words like consubstantiation and in, with, and under and real presence. I, I teach the words of Jesus. You know, do you believe what Jesus said the Lord's Supper is? This bread is my body. Do you believe it? This blood, This wine is my blood. Do you believe it? And then do you believe what it's for? That it makes you a part of his covenant, that it makes you a participant in his death and resurrection, that it gives you the forgiveness of sins. That, that's what the Lord's Supper is. So we just, we just stick to the words of Jesus. We don't go beyond them. None of that philosophy stuff. Ooh, philosophy. Ugh. Jesus' words, this is my body, this is my blood for you, for forgiveness. His new covenant to remember yourself and participate in Jesus's death and resurrection. Good stuff. God bless.